Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to this new sustainability interview brought to you by the World Sustainability Organization and Friend of the Sea. Our special guest today is uh, Dr. Alessandro Lucchetti, PhD researcher at the Italian National Research Institute, CNR, an expert in national and European legislation on fishing gears. In particular, he is also project coordinator of Turtle Life, a program to introduce turtles bycatch reduction measures in fishing. Friend of the Sea and Friend of the Earth are two major certifications for sustainable products and services. They also represent a group of uh, conservation initiatives for endangered species and habitats. So when you buy a Friend of the Sea or Friend of the Earth product, you are, all, you are sure that it's produced in a sustainable way and you are also supporting conservation. The interviews we propose on this channel help you learn uh, about companies producing in a more sustainable way and also other NGOs and research institutes initiatives and we hope that they will motivate you to follow their approach and also live and work sustainably. Please remember to subscribe to our channel to be alerted about uh, new interviews and videos and also to like if you found this video interesting. <laughs> So let me welcome Dr. Alessandro Lucchetti. Welcome, Alessandro. Nice to have you here with us. Hi, thank you, Paolo. Thank you for inviting me. When did you start getting passionate about uh, marine conservation and more specifically marine turtles? OK, so basically, um, to be honest, I'm not uh, really an expert of sea turtles. But that could be strange because I lead a, a, a life project. But uh, uh, so I started um, uh, focusing on fishery something like 25 years ago during my university studies. And uh, at that time, uh, um, I was mainly focused on the small scale fisheries. And, and I studied the, the, the impact of uh, gill nets, uh, trammel nets, pots, and so on. And uh, I realized uh, how easy was to catch a sea turtle as a bycatch, I mean. And um, something like 10 years ago, uh, I was involved on, in, uh, in a research project uh, that was mainly focused on the sea turtle reduction. And um, my main duty was to develop um, more friendly uh, fishing gears. I mean, uh, fishing gears that has uh, a low impact on um, sea turtles, and we started with the uh, turtle excluder devices. But to be honest, at that time, uh, failures were uh, definitely more than uh, successes. Uh, we found several problems on this. Uh, that at that time, that means uh, something like ten years ago, I started uh, focusing my attention on sea turtles. I read uh, everything on sea turtles, thousands of papers, mm. uh, to find a way to reduce sea turtle bycatch. And now I'm here as a turtle life coordinator. That's why my start on with the sea turtles. So what about uh, turtle life? Can you tell us a bit more uh, when was it started and how does it work? Uh, what have been the main achievements? Yes, uh, so uh, turtle life started in uh, 2013. Uh, as all the main projects that we carried out with uh, our institute, we focus on the real problems of fishing activities. And uh, as I said before, we realized that uh, we had a problem with the sea turtle bycatch, especially here in the Adriatic where we are based. Uh, we, rea we realized that the sea turtle bycatch is quite common, especially in uh, bottom trolling in this area, but uh, in, uh, in the Tyrrhenian Sea on the south or in the south of Italy, the long line, the surface long line is the, the fishing gears more impacting sea turtles. Uh, therefore, we realized that we had a problem with the sea turtle bycatch. And uh, even the, the information that we had at the beginning where uh, uh, quite foggy and quite scattered. We didn't know uh, the period of, or the areas or the fishing years with a, a high degree of uh, sea turtle bycatch. Uh, therefore, we decided to, to start uh, this project. And um, 
the main goal it's a, a kind of multidisciplinary uh, project because uh, I think mm, the solution for the to, to, to save turtles or to reduce the, the interactions with, between uh, fishing activities and sea turtles uh, imply uh, a multidisciplinary approach. Uh, therefore, in this project, we developed uh, um, uh, some different um, devices to reduce sea turtle bycatch in the bottom trolling, in passive nets, uh, and in the long line fishery. But uh, we also had uh, several different uh, other activities, uh, such as awareness campaign with uh, with fishermen, uh, mm -hmm. several different trainings because uh, we had to train the fishermen on what to do uh, when they catch a turtle. Uh, the, 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 the first action that uh, they have to do to, to save uh, or to, to minimize the, 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 the direct mortality of, of the sea turtles. Therefore, we, we did several different activities also with the sea turtle rescue centers. Uh, because um, most of the sea turtles, once uh, caught by fishermen, can be delivered to uh, sea turtle rescue centers, and in most of cases we are able to save them. Uh, therefore, we create a, a kind of network between uh, fishermen, research, and uh, rescue centers. And uh, so the, the main achievement of the project uh, are um, uh, we develop uh, a, a turtle excluder devices for the Mediterranean. That seems to be easy because uh, TEDs are used uh, in, in the United States for uh, at least uh, 30 years. But to apply these in another completely different fisheries, such as the Mediterranean, is not an easy, it was not an easy task. And uh, but now we reached a, a right a good level of this and we have some fishermen that uh, on a voluntary basis are starting using the the, the tets and then we also develop um, and we tried with fishermen uh, the uv led lights uh, on the passive nets to deter um, or to scare sea turtles approaching the gill nets uh, and also we develop uh, alternative fishing gears, uh, at least to be used in, in the key area in the hot spot period for the bycatch with the passive nets. Uh, the, the, the option is not to, to, to avoid the use of gill nets, but to give the fishermen an alternative, at, at least in some period and in, in some uh, areas. Uh, and we develop um, a kind of a collapsible or foldable pots that is uh, because basically be, because uh, the main problem with pots, uh, especially on small uh, fishing vessel, is the, the storage on board. And uh, we developed this kind of pots that is completely foldable, and therefore the, the this type of pots uh, take uh, um, less space on board, and the fishermen can use uh, hundred of these. Uh, um, and that was uh, really amazing and several fishermen are using uh, this type of pots uh, actually and uh, we finally propose uh, the use of a circle hooks instead of the traditional j hooks in the surface long lines and uh, also in this case we we found that fishermen are now ready to shift from the j hooks to the the circle hooks um so basically we, we reached several Mm, results in this project and um, last week we, we won the the the, the, the prize the, yes. uh, the the life uh, award uh, 2021 of the european commission and that was a uh, really a great success for us so and what does that uh, what does that prize mean uh, that you your project was among the best ones or was it the best one of the yes, life we Yes, we were selected among uh, several different projects uh, in, uh, in a short list of uh, um, 15 projects, uh, five projects uh, for the nature, uh, for the nature um, um, conservation projects. Uh, our project led the, the, the Citizen Prize that, 
that means uh, that mm, the project reached the uh, was the most voted from the citizen uh, all around the okay. Europe, and um, that was a great success for us and also for the project. I mean, wonderful. And I voted too <laughs> because yeah. uh, I, I know that uh, we started a collaboration between your uh, Start Alive and Friend of the Sea, and we launched the Turtle Safe certification. So. Uh, who can uh, um, participate and apply to to Tarta Life and to Turtle Safe? Can uh, we will show your your contact uh, uh, references and numbers on the, on the screen? Uh, but can anybody participate from Italy, from elsewhere? Yes, uh, sure. Um... We participate several different meetings uh, on sea turtles or in general uh, on the uh, animal conservation in the Mediterranean. And we also say that uh, we launched uh, together with the Friends of the Sea this uh, turtle safe certification, which is the, the first, I mean, uh, in, in the Mediterranean. And um, everybody can apply to this. Everybody, everybody, the fishermen, I mean, or stakeholders in general that uh, agree with our uh, guidelines, obviously. Uh, if you want to accept our guidelines where we put a, a, a list of uh, activities, such as the use of uh, uh, turtle extruder devices, but also other, uh, other main goal uh, that we have, such as collaborating with the sea turtle rescue centers in case of catch, uh, uh, to follow a kind of a first aid uh, um, uh, training, um, what to do in case of uh, catching a, a turtle. Uh, therefore, basically, uh, every fisherman, all stakeholders uh, working with with uh, fishing activities can uh, can join the turtle safe uh, certification, uh, providing that they accept a list of conditions that are in in our guideline. I mean. Yes, in fact, there is uh, also a, a short audit uh, which verifies compliance with all these uh, requirements. Yeah. Wonderful. So you, you already told us about the major causes of mortality in fisheries. Uh, yeah. I, I suppose there are also other impacts uh, from the anthropic activity. Yes. Uh, what, what is the situation uh, in terms of uh, also which are the endangered uh, species or uh, what is the trend also and so what is the hope to to save those that are endangered yes so basically the, the um, most of the treats for sea turtles are uh, human induced treats i mean uh, um, so basically the construction of new, new buildings uh, the coastal erosion or uh, the, the, the sediment change due to, uh, let's say, breakwater barriers or uh, uh, the, the, the beach cleaning, uh, this can reduce the habitat availability for the, the nesting sites and thus preventing females from uh, accessing the suitable beaches. Uh, in the same way, the, the presence of tourists uh, can discourage females from uh, coming coming ashore to for the nest. Exactly. I mean, and uh, but also the, the presence of of uh, wild animals or uh, such as seabirds or uh, wild dogs uh, can uh, present an issue for the survival of hatchling and and clutches. So, uh, but basically, m m most of the problem is due to the, the human presence. Uh, so actually, we have a, a quite better or little better situation for um, uh, sea turtles in the Mediterranean, but this is mainly due to the uh, conservation projects that protect the, the nesting beaches, for instance. And this is specifically starting from more or less June and July, the, the key period for uh, for the nesting and uh, so every citizen can contribute to saving sea turtles with the responsible uh, behavior uh, especially for the stakeholder working on on the beaches should uh, avoid uh, impacting the activities to clean the, the beach i mean uh, because uh, this is a key period for uh, for the nesting um, so everybody can contribute to save uh, sea turtles
Well, thank you very much, Alessandro, for your very interesting contribution and for this valuable information you have provided. Congratulations for all your efforts in saving marine life and turtles. I'm sure that your uh, engagement in uh, environmental conservation can represent a great example for many others. For now, I greet you, uh, but I hope to have you again uh, in our uh, YouTube channel in the future for updates and other considerations. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Thank you, Paolo. Thank you. See you. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe uh, to be alerted when uh, new interviews and videos will appear on our channel. And if you enjoyed the interview, please uh, do not forget to like it. Thank you and see you soon. Subscribe to our channel to get more content about sustainability.